Hey, peeps, Diane Sykes here, and I wanted to just pop on real quick and drop some goodness about meditation. In my own personal journey, one of the things that I have absolutely become really diligent about noticing in my life, talking to a dear colleague today, she said something so funny, and I'm going to use it, which is um, do a little for. In other words, not a self-evaluation and not a self-audit or a self self tour so delightful and so I've been doing this self tour and noticing all of the ways that I can increase my experience of pleasure and one thing that I've come back to is my meditation practice so I've meditated for years I don't even know how many years so many years that I can't remember ever not meditating and for me my relationship was Check it off the list. I did it. I'm a good girl. Ten minutes. Oh, I, it's a task, and I got to check it off my to-do list, and it's done. And so for so long, just the fact that I created it as a task was defeating the whole purpose of meditation, which was to step into full, pure, unbound presence so that I could tap into the juiciness of my creativity and secrete healing chemicals that would nourish my soul. And that was of itself a pleasurable experience that I was denying myself and as I've leaned into it more over the years I have experimented with different types of meditation I, I mean I am a meditation seeker I've done them all I've, I think I've traveled all over the country I've followed everybody and everything and, and I found things that work for me that science and of course meditation is everywhere I don't think there's a person in that isn't aware of meditating and most of us have decided that this is something we want to practice however I do believe in working with a lot of leaders particularly that it's like me check it off the list I did it great now what where are, where are the benefits and setting an expectation that if I meditate I'm gonna be healthy if I meditate I'm gonna be relaxed I'm gonna have all this creativity and, all and trying to control the outcomes is like it's like the antithesis of what meditation right and, and the richness of it and the celebration of it and so I felt like I just want to drop in here and offer up a, a few like quick tips but I want to do a much deeper dive of training on this so comment below let me know if that's something that is interesting to you because I feel like there's so much more that we get to get out of the very very simple practice of meditation which is actually like a very natural way to just be in stillness it, it's actually where we the most it's where we have the most the most opportunity to blast out our high high frequency of love and creativity and wonderment so um, if you're finding that you go into meditation and you let your and then you get frustrated and then you judge yourself which is what I've always done and then it's like oh I gotta meditate on oh, you know the thoughts are coming up oh this is so annoying is this even worse? I'm just sitting thoughts right now. I'm not really paying attention. And you just kind of go through the motions. And it doesn't. This. Yeah. Even if it's just for like a few weeks, do a brain dump. I love the exercise of brain dumping. And I do it regularly. And I do it usually like every Sunday. And I just literally like dump everything that's in my brain out onto paper. What I find super fun about this is doing it before meditation for a lot of my clients. It's so cathartic because it's literally getting the thoughts out of the body and out, purge them out, put them out on paper. And the very act of doing that has a physiological benefit. It actually starts stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system to come into. In fact, it's a brain dump has similar brainwave activity activity as getting a massage so you're giving yourself a little bit of like a preemptive massage before you get into meditation so that's one helpful thing great clients and it has for near years as well the second thing is forgiveness okay forgiveness when you're in meditation and the thoughts come up judgment and it's a simple conversation instead of like, and I've tried all the practice. I'm going to go to a lab and I'm going to do this. And it never really worked for me. 
So if this resonates for you, great, adopt it. Because this is what really works for me. My thoughts come in and I'm like, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. And I'm going to tend like I got you and just surrendering to the thought and not trying to fight it because when you fight you keep picking it up instead just soft forgive yourself the time and just surrender into it just melt into it like oh of course the thought is showing up of course I'm now letting my mind wander into all the stuff I have to get done today that's so sweet thank you so much ego mind for letting me know that you that you would rather be in the future I got you and you would I will tend to that when my present catches up with my future and I start doing that and then and I just come back into my breath comes in again. you come back into my breath because I know again the very act of surrender is secreting all of my healing chemicals so let's talk about DMT let's talk about creative powerhouse and getting into that non of consciousness like this is the this is the creation when you surrender and you forgive and you just simply notice and you, you, you actually are in this metacognitive state where you're observing your own see that they aren't actually yours that's the separation that that meditation gives us wow I am not and once and once you see that and then you continuously practice that that's when you separate out and you come into this like explosion you secrete the molecule DNT your pineal up and this is like your divine conscious like downloading happening and that's what meditation can provide for us so if you're a leader and you're looking to tap into that creativity forgiveness surrender soften the edge that you hold in your meditation practice and just be okay with the thoughts being there as a natural part of progression and stay with it last thing i'm going to offer here is levity levity like give this a little bit of humor it ain't that serious right if we're taking it so seriously then we're in contraction we're in constriction and we do meditation to allow us to expand and come out of our contracted state and we're fighting and we're contracting then we might as well just sit on the couch and just not bother right <laughs> we lean into just not only surrender but expand so how do you do that i play a little fun game with myself when the thoughts come in i'm like every human has this what human doesn't have thoughts spinning even buddha had thoughts come in even god and I just laugh it off because, again, that state of laughter puts me back into trance. And the more that I practice and the more that I've done this with my clients and seeing their results over time, staying in practice, staying in practice, staying in practice. Oh, now it just naturally, just naturally moves toward the physiology of life to create all these feel-good hormones. So it's just going to get to that state more quickly. So much more I can I hope you're finding this helpful. I'll drop one last little bonus tip here. And again, for a period of time, you might perhaps consider meditating at the same time every day because what that will do is, again, you, your body will work with you. So it's like dogs. If you know you're eating at the same time every day, you start salivating in anticipation of that. So if you know you're meditating at the same time every day, your body will work for you and it will start to set you up in anticipation of the meditation. It will start to, again, shut down the sympathetic drive and start turning up your rest and relax nervous system component and, and start the process of creating the healing chemicals. Same thing with the practice of staying, adding the levity to it, just a Sometimes I'll have my clients, you know, I have I have guided meditations that I give them, and I'm like telling them, like, you are directing your cells right now. You are directing your pineal gland to open up and secrete DMT and release the control of the prefrontal cortex and ease and soften into a place of wonderment. And so telling yourself that. And this is just coming through for me now. If you want a guided meditation, 
in the comments. I'd be happy to share one of my guided meditations with you. I have one for sleep. I have one for morning. I have one for daily practice. I have a bunch, but maybe I'll share like my nighttime ones. Or maybe I'll share my fear one. That's a great one. But get, pick up a guided meditation if you have to. Or just guide yourself. Your own selves. Like, uh, listen, selves, I want to experience this euphoric state. This, this just absolute beautiful creative state. Hope this was helpful. Let me know. Drop a comment below if you want to get a meditation or if you want me to do training because I'm feeling it coming. I'm feeling it coming. And I know it would be really helpful because we all meditate. It's like we all work out. We all try to eat clean. But, like, is this really, really fully leaning into the joy and pleasure of it? That's what I would hope for all of you. That's what I feel the field for. Much love. Peace out. Peace if you out. know somebody that would really benefit from this, please share it out. Share it out.